Hello everyone and welcome back to Minecraft Mech and Magic where I've just come back from a mining adventure from the lovely land of my cavelings and everything like that. I just went to the, to the toilet and got a bunch of stuff. I got a good bit of diamonds and stuff. I actually created three more um, mending upgrades because I've been building uh, not a bit. Um, to say the least, we have walls. It's, we're surrounded by walls in our castle, but uh, kind of, it's not fully done, but yeah. But today we want to step away from mining, gathering, and stuff like that. We actually want to finally step into doing something. Uh, I don't even know what episode this is actually, considering we've, we've done all this stuff. I wanted to do Reliquary first, but I think we're going to actually take, because I really want to take a step into the Sound Gems mod. Um, because it looks really cool. Uh, that's, I was looking at Viking Hoppers. But I have 22 diamonds for, that I've managed to prospect out. Because there's actually this tool called a Prospector. There in here. I got it from the nether when we went with the nether. And yeah, that helped me find some lovely, awesome diamonds here and there. So... Fantastic. So, we want to find a book. And we need to find a random gemstone. Um, let's do an empty hand. I don't like green. So we're going to use one of these paradigms. So we need to craft a book and the paradigm together. And we get the silent gems and manual. Fantastic. So let's store away. The shears I don't need right now. Silent Gems Manual. Woo! List of everything. Fantastic. Now, there's a lot of things. Cast notes. Fluffy blocks. Fluffy blocks is worth fall damage. That makes sense. Chaos Altar. Okay. Chaos Altar serves two purposes. It can recharge items that store chaos. And it can transmute items. The altar can receive chaos from chaos producing blocks, nodes, pylons, and stores a large amount. Place chaos storing items in the altar's first left slot. Charge them. Huh. How do you create the pylons? Interesting. So those things that zap me. Are those part of this mod? I wonder. Because I've been zapped with things before. I wonder. So, Chaos Pylons. Let's see if that's a craftable thing. Something called Chaos Pylons. Passive Burner. Creates chaos from furnace fuel at high speed. Oh yeah, they're craftable. Chaos Core. Alright. So this is something I need to keep in mind. When I head down the thing. Because I want to be able to craft things that are chaos infused. Along, along the line, obviously. Because there's loads and loads of chaos stuff. Vice is a lot of ore. There's 16 types of light gems that spawn in the overworld. By default, they're very common. Oh. Dark gems. There's 16 types of dark gems that spawn only in the nether. By default, they're the fairly common. Chaos ore is somewhat rare by default. I, I've seen tons of it. I just haven't mined it all. So there's tons of this chaos ore that I can do. And this is an inner essence ore as well, but I'm not been in the end. So it's gonna be interesting to get into. Chaos flower pot. So you can use these. Huh. So it's, you can actually use those flowers that I have and create a glowing flower pot. Interesting. So what we want to do, I think, 
is we won't to get into some of the items and because I saw this one thing. It's something called a holding gem. And I was that reason I wanted to get the book is I wanted to read about it. It's something called a holding gem that is large is capable of storing a large number of a single block. They can also place and dispense the block they hold. So basically I could have one of these and it can hold infinite amount of cobblestone. Yeah. So when I go mining, I'll be able to do that. So let's start off by making something utilitarian, which is this holding gem. Holding gem. Apparently you can make them in any color. Um... Because it's gold, chaos, and all this other lovely, awesome stuff. So looks like we need to smelt some of this chaos ore that we have. So let us cook some chaos ore. Uh, can we crush chaos ore? I didn't think so. I'm going to cook maybe in two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't want to go too crazy. Actually, it doesn't matter because you can't double it anyway. Um, so we'll just cook all the chaos ore. Meanwhile, it looks like I need to get uh, four gold and two of whatever color gem that I desire. And get gold from the nether, so I'm fine. Um, two of what other, other ever color gem that I desire. I want to save the rubies for armor. We're going to use tier regular base harvesting speed. I guess we want to morganize good stuff then. I guess we want to use something that's kind of low tier. Yeah, we probably want to use something that's not awesome. Like this moonstone. This is awesome. We're going to make something great out of that. Melee damage, 3. Magic protection, 5. Protection, 14. Enchant ability, 15. Yeah, see look how much durability of these is out of, out of the wall. Let's make garnet. Let's make a garnet one. I don't know which tier they're better. Attack speed 110. Ember's fast, but that's crappy durability. That's something to keep in mind. Huh. Let's make a garnet one. We should have enough chaos award to make this gem now. So we have two garnets. We have gold in each corner. We have chaos ore. What it said. Oh, it's enriched. Okay, so I just have to enrich it. So it's going to actually take eight. So let's enrich this first. So what do we need to enrich it again? We need glowstone and redstone. Which we have. So we need to have... To enrich it, we need glowstone in the corners. And we need to have redstone. I mean, redstone here. I mean, and glowstone, redstone in the corners. And then... I'm going crazy. There we go. Enriched chaos. And now those go here. The gold in the corners that we choose here and now we have the holding gem that can store a large block of item so now if I had some cobblestone and I guess you craft it together to set this to be cobblestone autofill on and it just pretty much ate it now instead of having an inventory full of cobblestone 
I have a gym that is holding all the cobblestone. Oh my gosh, that's actually really cool. So it's holding 19 of 4,096. 4, and of course I have this backpack, which I can store the gym in. It's pretty cool. So that's one lovely tool that's actually useful. What I wanted to do this gym, this gym mod for, which we actually want to do this inside. I got this lovely, uh, awesome place. So let's claim a room. Let's claim a room for my geological room, I guess you can count it as. Because we'll need to have the pylons and stuff, everything set up inside a room. I don't want this room. Let it set up in, I guess, this room right here. I want to claim this room. This room's going to be my rockery. We'll have some barrel uh, chests that have the gemstones and stuff like that, or barrels that have the gemstones in it for easy access for this mod temporarily. But this is the place I want to do it. So I'm probably going to move a chest in here with all the silent gems, gem mods in here because it just makes more sense to me to have it all in one spot because, you know, that's still, that's the idea is to have a room that's functional um, for a mod. Right now that's how it's going to be. Until we can actually get everything set up. So let's pull out anything that's got silent gems on it. I don't know what some of these flowers do. That's something I'm going to have to research. And there's also all these mob crystals. Additionally, additions, origin, quark. Rubies. Okay, so there's that. We'll put the flowers in the tiny chest and the gems in the bottom chest. How about that? Sounds like a plan to me. And like chaos things and things that I will really, really use. Things like this. Not iron dust. There we go. Um, we have another flower that goes here. Pretty cool. So we have Silent Gem stuff uh, in here in this room. Because this is the place. I'll have to change the floor out. Maybe we'll change it to like purple or something. I have like a chest here that has a lot of uh, wool in it. So I don't know why I choose purple of all things. Because red's my room, I guess. So that's the thing. Alright. So let's take a look at the armor. Fluffy Puffin seeds. Oh, see, I have Fluffy Puff seeds. Craft String Wolf. Feather and fluffy fabric. Okay, so having fluffy puff is actually good. So some of these might be pretty cool to get. That's just something you can hold torches. Which is pretty neat. And a drawing comp. I'll have to read some of this. So if you give me a moment, I'm going to read over the armor stuff. And I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I've done a little bit of reading. Reading, prowling, searching in the in the eye of J-E-I, whatever. But, looking around, and in here, in the armor crafting things, there's fancy coal that lets you burn stuff a lot faster with this chaos as and stuff. It's really neat, actually, so it's not that bad. We have tool rods for the tools, obviously, and we have different tiers of armor in this mod. I haven't to figure it out, but there's different tiers of armor. There is mundane, regular, and super. Now, regular is what most of the gems are, basically. Uh, mundane is basically flint. So, yeah, super is the basically the tier that you want. Um, it's like supercharged gems and stuff and that uses a lot of that chaos stuff. I don't know understand what some of this blaze stuff is yet. I haven't looked. But if you look at like this, let's look at the super stuff. Uh I think it's just sleep time let's sleep real quick. I stood there quite a long time reading that stuff and flipping through the system. But if you take a look at the gems here, you if I hover over it, it says tier regular. And then it gives me the stats of a whole control. Yeah. If I hover over this, let's see, there's a ruby, right? It says base harvest 8, harvest level 2, 86, 2, 14, blah, 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 blah. If I go down here, 
there is supercharged ruby and it says tier super if i hover over it it's base harvest speed 12 14 4 109 it's a lot better basically in other words you you want to get the um you want to get the supercharged stuff you want to get a lot of this chaos stuff and supercharge everything i shouldn't have enough actually to do a supercharged set i'm not sure if i don't i know where a lot of it is it's all down below um it's pretty cool there's also loads of weapons different types of weapons so there's like loads of options i didn't check about the these things yet but there's loads of options of weapons if i can find them there's swords there's daggers there's katanas which i'd love to have a katana so i may make me a, a katana basically get an ornate rod and or a tool rod and go for that it just depends how you what like your stats you want that's the thing is it's like everything's got its different stats so it's basically like some weird custom math some basically weird scepters you can say made by a cheater <laughs> here we keep up with it if you pull it from the uh, machetes tomahawks and bows which i don't have a bow at all so having a bow would be quite handy it's also colorful it's all rainbow and of course we have tons and tons of shields which would be quite handy to have but what i would like to do is even though it wouldn't look really good because you know math i mean because of me I would love to create I need to make I think these are the things that keep zapping me um I need to make pearl redstone teleporter so that's something else I didn't read about. There's a, there's a lot of weird stuff in here. I want to make, if I can get in here, if I quit stopping myself. So the problem is, it takes two gems to make one supercharged. So I could be really rainbow. I could be really weird, really weird. But I could make me a sword. Or I could make me a flexible sword. But I would like to make a sword out of some of this material. Why not make... A red sword. I want to make a katana. We'll just say I wouldn't mind having a katana. Uh, it takes three gems, so it would take six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six of these, and I would need to supercharge them. So let's make some supercharged um, rubies. There we go. And now, let's see about the tool rods. I'm guessing, uh, let's see, book. Let's look at these tool rods again. Super tier quality. I have to have silver ingots, iron, and chaos. So you can have gold, or you can have silver. I don't have enough gold. But... Basically, it's speed. It has to be... I could do basic iron, which is a high durability. Or enchant abilities down there. So let's go for a silver one, if I have the silver. I may have to cook it, but that's fine. Or I can skip to the nether real quick and get me some, but I'm pretty sure that I have some silver. Actually, I probably have some gold as well, I do. But I like silver, so let's make some silver. Let's crush up enough silver to get me enough silver. I need how much? Six pieces? So I need to crush three ores, and then it will be good. I also need to enrich. That's just basic chaos. Chaos essence. 
That was an enriched chaos essence. It's not there. Uh, I need to actually progress on power and all that other good stuff. There's one. Uh, setting up crushers and stuff like that. We need to set up next time. We need to set up a system that allows me to process this crap. At least some type of basic coal powered system. Or maybe like a generator with a redstone furnace and an actual pulverizer and stuff because this this is not automated and it's really weird. It's really bothering me to not have to not have automated system. But as soon as I get my um, lovely awesome silver, we'll cook it. And then we'll have a tool rod that I can make my supercharged sword. Because uh, I have a crappy sword. And having a good sword would be very, very awesome for the silver dust. So let's cook my silver and let's have a lovely time making a cool sword. I can make a flexible sword, which I still might do for the long run because it's... But these might actually be more powerful than a diamond sword because this is going to possibly be um, 10. Yeah. And it has upgradability. See, it's different. It's different. Halfway there. Yeah, I need to do something about my stuff. And I need to move everything inside. Now that I'm actually have a house or have a building, I need to move everything inside and have it actually functional. Um, I did start working my way into a basement. Let's see. Eventually, there will be a basement there. But I should have my silver now. We should be able to make this sword. Yeah, there you go. Alright, so let's go and make my lovely katana. But really, I should just move my stuff inside and put it right inside the door. Uh, so, silver there. Uh, we're making the silver tool rod. Two iron. I have gold. I don't have iron in my inventory. Will you please leave me alone? I don't have that stuff. I need two iron. Let's just do it here. Um, and it'll actually make me eight ornate tool rods. So I only need one. So we need to have a tool rod. And we should be able to craft it like this. We have a supercharged ruby katana. And it's maker by me. Fantastic. Which is pretty dang cool. So I need to get a lot of that chaos stuff because apparently I'm going to need a lot of it. So I have a fancy sword now instead of a very crappy one. I just don't have anything to kill. Oh, there's a sheep. A poor defenseless sheep. I took two hits to kill that sheep. Twelve attack damage, 1.8 speed. It's pretty good compared to old six, so I'm double my attack animal a bit faster, which is pretty great. Pretty great and pretty awesome. So, we'll be able to actually kill um, the monsters now without having to fight them for like five minutes. And we'll also be able to see something about some of these upgrades and stuff. I don't know if there's like a um, GUI or something like that for them, or but there's like some things down here. Enchantment tokens. Look at them. Two gem Helidor, four glowing, lightning aspect, silent gems. Weakens and constantly damages the victim. Reaper for Draconic Evolution. Max level five. It doesn't tell me what it's uh, crafted from. Beheading from Cyclic. So they're like enchantment tokens. And it actually get, tells me what, how to get them here. If they have an ability to get them. But I don't know exactly how to unlock these yet. I have to do a little bit of searching off camera. To figure out exactly how to unlock some of these. Uh, enchantments. Because I didn't adept strider and stuff like that. What I want to do is. I want to be able to get me some. Pretty cool. Some pretty cool armor. I'd love to find a lot of moonstones in the nether. 
and mine all them. And that way I have a lot, a lot of really cool uh, armor. Because apparently that looks like it's the best is Moonstone. And of course it is how you have to have double uh, than what you need. And if you supercharge Moonstone, it looks like it'd be pretty crazy. I have to look at the supercharge to see what's the best. I'm pretty sure there's actually a list somewhere online that tells me which one's actually the best, but I don't know. Ruby looks pretty nice to me. I like the color red, so. But I have a pretty cool, cool, cool katana. Cool katana, even though it doesn't have a good texture pack because uh, it doesn't really match my texture pack, but it's fine. It's fine. I live in a castle that has three tiers and is slowly getting a roof. Slowly. Um, and yeah, I just got a poke boss on the third floor. But yeah, we're getting there. We're getting to the house and we're getting um, to tooling ourselves up. But eventually we'll have a functional base where I can do all sorts of fancy stuff and do all these magically magic stuff. But it's nice to actually have a room dedicated to welcome to the rockery. Welcome to Reliquary. Welcome to the, uh, what is it, what do you call them? The Apocathery, I'm going to call it. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do for some of the other ones. But yeah, that's so what I'm going to leave it. And I'll see you all. How did you get in here? How did a basic one get in here? But yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye.